Hello everyone, my name is Natalia Kasmina and I would like to present you our work The Thinking Cap, Fostering Growth, Mindset of Children by Means of Electroencephalography and Perceived Magic of Harry Potter Universe. This work was in collaboration with Cassandra Shar, here with me today, and Professor Patty Myers uh, from MIT Media Lab. Several psychological interventions have shown to improve the academic performance of young children and students. And a lot of these interventions uh, intend to educate them about growth mindset, which is the idea that intellectual ability can be developed over time. And we believe that these interventions that exist already pose several challenges in practice because to be carried out properly, they require extensive training of the participating faculty, as well as extra effort to mitigate all the cognitive biases of the adults administering them. And this both limits their scalability and the su success rates. We have three main components uh, of our contribution, most specifically magic familiarity, pop cultural references, as well as neuroscience. All these three components were extensively studied in different interventions uh, when being applied uh, in academic uh, achievement uh, with minors. A very good example is when a child is reading uh, Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter, watching X-Men, and would start uh, appropriating and believing in some of the traits that they might bear very similar to the main heroes of those uh, sci uh, fictional universes. Another very common example is performing different personality tests, for example, belonging to one of the houses at Harry Potter. This is uh, where our contribution actually comes from. So as is being described as following. We have an artifact, in our case, it's a sorting head from Harry Potter. Uh, we got one from Amazon. We have an EEG headset or electroencephalography headset that can pick up the brain activity of a person. We obviously have a computer that uh, connects everything and uh, keeps all the algorithms running smoothly and connects to the EEG headset via Bluetooth. We have a little Sphera robot from, um, it's an open source robot, which we use as a tangible uh, output of the system. And I'll explain what it means just in a second. And we are also uh, added a speaker inside of the head, so the head can actually talk to a child, but only the child, only the wearer, will be able to hear what it is being, uh, what is being told. So these are the main contributions, um, main components of uh, our system. We have several conditions, more specifically we have active condition, which we call FOO, where we have our sorting head with the EEG headset and speakers inside of the head attached via Velcro, as well as a little uh, robot. We have an EEG active condition where we only use EEG headset, robot and the speakers, there is no head. We also have the head active condition, where we only use the sorting head, the speakers and the robot, but there is no EEG component, there's no EEG headset inside of the head. And we also have a control condition. It's very common to classic growth mindset intervention, it doesn't have any of the aforementioned components like a head or EEG headset. Here we have the experimental protocol, which some basic information is that we included 48 children between the ages of 8 to 12. and these children were randomly assigned and counterbalanced across the conditions with respect to their age and their gender. Um, and the experiment followed five stages. The first was the welcome briefing and pre-assessment questionnaire. The second was solving a math exercise sheet. The third was the intervention and the type of the intervention depended on the condition that was assigned to the child. Uh, the fourth step was solving another exercise sheet of math questions. And this time the child was able to choose which sheet they were solving. And then the fifth and last step was the post-assessment questionnaire and the debriefing. Please check the paper to learn more about the mindset questionnaires and details about the experimental protocol. This is a short video where you can see what the system looked like while the participant was using it. Um, they would wear it and control the Sphero robot with their brain signals. This is only a small glimpse of the results, more specifically the changes in mindset before and after the experiment. But we'd like to bring attention to the fact that the mindset scores for the full condition, which included the hat, the EEG headset, the feedback system, and the robot, was the highest among all four conditions. There are definitely several limitations and directions for the future work. We, however, were able to do a simple study, Thinking Cap 2.0, where we have explored multiple universes, multiple sci-fi universes. Iron Man, Magneto, Darth Vader. So please check uh, that paper out. It is already available. And if you have any questions regarding the first or the second study, uh, please drop us a line. Thank you so much for your attention.